welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. I uh, just thought we'd uh, have a look at this little new printer I just picked up. Sort of share my first thoughts with you all. So this is a Tronxy or Tronix Y. XY2 Pro. So I set this up last night and the first thing I did was change this, change the bill plate. Because the one that comes with it, I mean, it's it's okay, but I mean, I don't like it. For one, it's held on, it's on my camera. It's held on with these clips, these bulldog clips. And wherever I place them, on the bed, it would just constantly catch on the head. So I just done away with that. I had a spare magnetic bill plate, which was obviously quite large. So I've cut that down, put that on it. Um, ran a test print last night, which was not very successful. Um, as you can see, had issues out of the bat still this black now what that was caused by obviously I didn't notice it at the time because I left it running overnight but the hot end wasn't assembled correctly it was completely and utterly loose so of course all that happened was the filament had leaked out all over the block and was dripping down off the block and this bed was covered in black filament where it burnt and of course then it also dripped and got actual caught in with the filament as it was printing and it's the reason I ended up with this. So this morning I had to take the hot end apart, clean it all up and tighten it all up. Since then it seems to be printing okay. I had a few issues trying to get this bed level, just proven to be a bit of a nightmare. I mean, there has got an auto leveling sensor, but it's not terribly accurate. So I followed the instructions, I mean, I know, I know how to level a bed to the T and I just could not get this bed level to save my life. Um, hence the reason if you look on this old bed, you can see a kind of a, well, destroyed it. But since then, had another little play around, I reset the machine back to default and I, this time, instead of using the paper method, I eyeballed it. Because so I used paper, then I've done the auto level, then I uh, set the Z offset, and every time I'd either end up with no filament coming out because the nozzle was too, too close to the bed, or it was too far away from the bed and it wasn't even touching it. So this time I just eyeballed it. I ran the auto bed leveling three different times and got three lots of results. So. I'm not quite sure if this sensor, the auto sensor, is slightly faulty. But what I thought I'd do, I would leave this test print running, see how this came out. And then after that, I'll then do another print, see what that came out like. And then if I carry on, if that's fine, then that's fair enough. If not, I mean, I will have to return it. But it's a nice little machine, I must admit. We've got a nice full colour touch screen. I mean, this is only my first thought video. I'll do another video on this after I finish doing a few test prints. Um, but if this is something that you're thinking about getting, it's very important that when you first get it and start putting it together, you're going to need to go around and tighten up all the screws. You're going to need to tighten up belts. Everything comes, well, nothing's done up tight. But I didn't think the hot end. <laughs> Well, it's gonna be like that, so more film me, I guess. Um, do have some nice little features. Got a metal extruder. We do have filament detection. Um, we obviously have got the auto bed leveling. The only downside that I would say is the bill plate. I would like to put a glass one on here, but at the moment I can't actually find one because this bill, uh, this bill plate is uh, two five five by two five five. So it's a, it's a bit bigger than the Ender series, and it's a bit difficult to try and find uh, a glass bed that will fit. But at the minute, like I say, I can just get hold of these magnetic Corality beds and just cut them down to size, because also the Ender ones are 
220 by 220, so they're too small. I mean, the, the normal beds would probably be okay, but it's just the fact that they're held down with bulldog clips, and I just don't, I don't like that. Because like I say, every time that this nozzle moved, if I put the bulldog clip here, if I put the bulldog clip there, there, this head would constantly catch on it. So what was the point? I mean, you can clip them to the side here and take the actual clips off, but then it would still catch on it and then that would interfere, you know, that would foul up on the, um, the leveling sensor. So that was no good either. So I had just had to scrap that idea completely. And like I say, I went for magnetic bed. So that's something you guys ought to consider, you know, if you're thinking about getting one of these is to change the bed out and also just check the hot end before you start printing. Um, apart from that, it's a nice little machine. Well built. Obviously we've got the spool holder up here on the top. This is just the test filament that came with. Um, running down the side, obviously into the filament detector. And then through into, like I say, the full metal extruder. And everything's all well protected from rubbing. Everything was all cable tied. Um, I do like how these new printers, instead of having all, all these wires you have to plug in, literally on this machine, I had to plug in two wires. One was this big wire on the side here, which is a single block and it just plugs in. And the other one that I had to plug in was to the stepper motor. Um, if I can show you guys, the other wire was to the stepper motor that's down here. And that was the only two wires that I had to plug in. Well, I say I'm going to come back and do a follow-up video on this. Um, I did also do a bother of doing an unboxing video. There's loads of them on there. I just wanted to feature a new printer on the channel um, that's up and running. So far, like I say, after I tightened up that hot end, re-leveled the bed three more times, doesn't seem to be printing too bad. I mean, ideally, I would like to lift the nozzle up a little bit more, but this machine does not allow you to... Um, tune or baby step your motor so it's, unless you want to go around and adjust it on the nuts which i don't really want to do right now there's not a lot i can do but i'm going to wait and see how this first print comes out so then we'll do a follow-up video on this a bit later on once i've printed sort of yeah, five or six things that we can have a look at we have got like i say nice touch controls here obviously i do like the fact that even showing you this is one of the test files included of printing an elephant it'll actually show you what you're printing Nice clear display, so we've got build plate temperature, hot end temperature, uh, time has been printing so far, uh, remaining time, so I'm struggling with the camera angle because if you look beside me, I've got a PC screen. <laughs> um, then obviously the file you're printing, the percentage completed, and then you've got pause stop. And then here you've got your options. So you can change your fan speeds, uh, your print speed, your hot bed temperature, your nozzle temperature, and your flow rate. That's all you can change on that setting. And obviously, I can't really show you any of the other settings because the machine's printing, but like I say, we'll do that in a follow-up video. So at the moment, guys, leave this one with me. I don't know if I can actually recommend this yet. I just want to see how these next few prints come out. Uh, so far, it's, it's looking promising now. I've got these little sort of bits needly bits ironed out but once we're up and running properly i'll do a follow-up video for you all to give you my final thoughts to see if this thing is worth buying anyway guys that's it for now short little video for you all i'll say this was the uh trunksy xy2 pro or tron xy whoever you want to pronounce i'm going for trunksy because it sounds quite cool <laughs> anyway guys Hope you're all staying safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheerio!